So now let's see how we can create replay triggers so that there's a camera movement as a trigger in character animator. So in order to do that, I'm just going to add in a scene camera right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a short animation of what I want the trigger to be. So let's say the first trigger that I want is from wide shot just like this. So I'm just going to add in keyframe to all of this. And then I'm going to zoom in right here, just like this and then go around, zoom it in. So once I zoom in, I can go around, change the position right over here. And just like this, I want this to be the trigger. So in order to refine this out, I'm just going to add an ease as well. So I got this camera movement right over here. So what I want is I want it to be a bit slower. So I'm just going to pull this out, let's say till around one second, just like this. And then I'm going to play this out. Once I do that, you can see that this is the camera movement I have. So what I want to do is I want to turn this into a trigger. So I'm just going to select all of the keyframe from front, uh, front to back right here. And then I'm going to click on create replay and trigger from keyframes right here. So once I do that, you can see that a trigger has been created. So I'm just going to go for Z for zoom, just like this. So if I were to press Z, then what happens is that the trigger takes in place. So press Z right over here. And you can see that as I hold Z, it actually goes and zooms it in. But what I want it to do is latch on. So just like that, what I want it to do is once I press Z, I don't want it to just uh, zoom in for a moment. So once I click Z, and that is tap Z on my keyboard, you can see that the zoom in effect actually takes in place. Similarly, I can add in more keyframes. I'm just going to go around, change out the position. Let me just zoom out. And let's say this is the other portion that I want to work with just like this. So I'm just going to go around and select this part out. So I'm just going to copy and paste this keyframe as well. Select this, right click, and then go to uh, create replay and trigger from keyframes right over here. So this is going to be X and I'm going to go forward and then add in another keyframe as well. So I'm just going to go around, select these keyframes. So now it actually zooms out all the way back just like that. So I'm just going to select all of these right here and then I'm going to uh, click on create replay and trigger from keyframes just like this. So this is going to be C. I'm going to turn on lats for all of these as well. So once I do that, what happens is that you'll be able to see all now. I'm just going to go around and delete out these keyframes right here. So I'm just going to delete out. And over here, if I were to press Z, you can see that it zooms in. If I were to press C, it zooms out. If I were to press X, it zooms in and zoom out. So if I were to press Z, Right here, it zooms in, X, it zooms out, and C, it zooms out even further right over here. But what is happening is that there's other triggers uh, associated with the character for that particular button, and that's, and that's why the hand wave and everything is here. That is because for the character right here, for the tell character, uh, you can see that the same thing is assigned. So I'm just going to change around uh, the assigning right here. So let me just go for camera. I'm going to change this to one, two, and three, which will uh, be much more better. So one, two, and three right there. So if I were to press one, you can see that it zooms in, no camera movements, anything else is not there. So I can press one, two, and then I can press three right here. So press one again, and it zooms in. Press one again, and then it zooms back. One again, zooms back. And that is how you can create camera movements from triggers right there. So you can create something like a pan as well. So just like this, what I want to do is, let's say I want to add in pan. So I'm just going to go around over here. I'm gonna go to uh, X position. Yes, I'm just going to add in a keyframe right here and then go around, change this around as well, just like that. And then what I can do is change this out into uh, A's and then I'm going to right click and click on replay and trigger from keyframe. So this is going to be four right here. So as I go in right here, I'm going to turn this into lats as well. If I were to press four, you can see that it actually pans into the character right here. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's pan into the character just like that, as you can see. So let me just go for one right here and then pan into the character just like that. And that's how you can create replay and trigger from keyframes inside of character animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, 
and subscribe.